Hello everyone, welcome to an overview video for Skills Commons. SkillsCommons.org is a repository for open educational resources designed specifically for workforce development and uh, trade related fields. Now in the about section, you can read more on your own um, if you're interested, but this comes from an almost $2 billion investment to create open resources for um, employment in the 21st century. Now this is, although it's still ongoing, the overall initial investment was um, in the mid 2010s. And so Skills Common showed up in 2014 and is still being updated and improved upon, but it is a relatively recent repository. So if you have in the past looked for materials um, and you are in one of the workforce development fields, um, it may be that you haven't had a chance to see everything that's here in Skills Commons. And so that's what I'd like to um, have a brief overview for us now. If you scroll down partway down, uh, partway through the page, you get to um, this really colorful wheel. So I'm going to click on that. Now it has the um, North American Industry Classification Scheme codes for everything that it contains. And the innermost part of the wheel is the more general topics. So manufacturing has the largest segment, uh, healthcare has the next, and so on. But even with these smaller segments, so this um, teal one, for example, is construction, there are still 309 resources in that area. And if you click on that innermost wheel, then it brings you to groupings otherwise. So just general construction or construction of buildings or specialty trade contractors, and you can click further in. Once you get to the outermost part of the detailed breakdown of uh, topics, it will bring you to a list of those particular results as if you had in the search bar clicked um, and typed through that particular topic. Everything that it contains is listed with a particular type, whether it is a full course, whether it is a syllabus, a small portion, a presentation of something, for example. And so it will be useful as you look at your subject area to then see what kind of resources are available for that subject area. So that's the probably most important starting point if you know what it is you want to look for. And it's worth noting that when we do click into this um, visual method, there is also a fully accessible version, um, which is just a complete list labeled by um, those NAICS codes um, from start to finish and detailed um, descriptions of those different categories. The other thing that I want to highlight for us is uh, here at the very top, there's a tab for showcases. There are a couple of other places you can click into the showcases part of Skills Commons, but I think that's also a useful starting point as well. So these showcases are designed to be kind of easy starting points for um, certain categories of ideas, kind of like a libguide um, might be. So for example, if, if you know that there are um, things that your department needs for apprenticeships, clicking into here might help you find specifically what you're looking for. So then welding um, examples and instructional materials and resources all in one big area. So the showcases are another way to access material beyond just the kind of raw repository search. So that's showcases here at the top. If we go back to the home page, the last key thing that I want to highlight in this short overview video is the connect. So support.skillscommons.org slash connect is a way to get in touch with others who might be teaching your same topic. But the other thing that I really thought was interesting um, that was covered in a recent webinar about Skills Commons is if you go here to connect with impact communities, 
this is a chance for, um, and the jumpstart to successful instruction, this is a chance for people who might be new to teaching but are industry experts to have a chance to hear from people who went through that same path what they wish they had known um, when jumping from the uh, industry side of things to the education side. So this is a set of interviews and a few courses that you can run through so that you see everybody else's pitfalls or things they wish they had known um, before you even get started. It's a really powerful um, set of resources that I think are, are really, really nice to have. So to get there, I went to Connect then um, the impact communities, and then jumpstart to successful instruction. So I think it's important that I uh, not let this uh, overview video run too long. That way you have a chance to spend that time um, exploring on your own. But the main thing I want to point out is that on this landing page, you can get to the showcases here, the connect here, and then really explore either in the... Um, wheel view on the left or the list view on the right, um, all of the materials listed by their, um, their category. So everything is free, everything is open, and if you have questions about open educational resources in general, please do reach out. Um, I'm Lauren Wolsey, I'm a faculty member here at JRCC, and I am the Open Educational Resources Coordinator for the time being. So I look forward to working with you and answering any questions that you have, uh, and hopefully this is something that will be useful to you. Thanks for listening.